I have to make a video for you guys on this because it's really weird, right? So this is the pin that I de-pinned. That comes out of uh, this connector, which connects to one of these, and it goes back to the fuse box, which is in the glove box. And it comes 12 volts from the fuse. It comes 12 volts, basically, to this wire. And this is the one that was shorting to ground. So I de-pinned it from here so I could drive and have indicators. If you follow this, this is grey and yellow. So you go into the engine bay. It comes out, as you can see the front of the vehicle here. It comes out in this loom up here. And it comes along here and it comes along here. And if we open up the insulation, the conduit, uh, you can see, well, I can see it. I don't know if you can. There's a this one just here. That is grey and yellow. It then runs into this connector. It's this one that I've marked with a black marker pen. Now, that connector connects into this connector up here which goes into a temperature sensor at the back of the thermostat. So it goes through the sensor and back out through this one, which very handily is also grey and yellow. And it goes back into the loom. Now, because I've done some tests with the test light and multimeter, I know that it's this one which goes into the cabin, into that one that I've de-pinned this one goes into the loom and goes further on and I know it goes further on because here there's only one grey and yellow so the power or whatever the 12 volts is coming in here through the temperature sensor at the back of the thermostat back out through this one now what we have here in the spaghetti uh, is this the, this is where it comes back in it goes along this conduit here and then it this conduit splits uh, this is the temperature sensor for the gauge on the dash and it's green and blue color um, some of the others go to the diesel injector pump uh, just for the solenoid on that there's another one which runs to a sensor in the crankcase breather pipe which I don't know what that's for exactly that is gray and yellow but it's a much thinner wire so it's not physically the same wire as the one up here this is a bit thicker so what I did notice then is that there's another wire coming out of the spaghetti which goes to a connector which is not connected to anything and judging by the state of it it's never been connected to anything it's a single wire connector. If I pull the insulation off, you can see it. And there it is. Grey and yellow. Thicker than the one of this other sensor. So it's definitely, and I, I tested it with the meter, and it's definitely connected to there. So this whole shebang of this connector, the sensor in the back of the thermostat, it goes to nowhere. Explain that. So my short is between here and the power coming from the fuse, but the whole circuit does nothing. So I'm just gonna leave it disconnected. Bye bye.